Hello, you awesome safe at home creator. I'm super excited to get to the details of this video, but before we do, here's Quincy. What's up creators? My name is Quincy with Creators Offline. Uh, we are really, really excited to be finally announcing the details about our Create at Home Film Festival. We are a micro conference that travels around the US um, getting creators together to talk about their passions and their art. And unfortunately, our very first 2020 event was canceled due to the pandemic. So we are super excited to find a different way to connect with creators and see what you can make at home. I'm gonna bump you to Genki and he'll tell you a little bit more. Like Quincy said, we're super excited to host this film festival and have great prizes to give away to the top three films. But before we get to that, let's cover the basics. We want you to stretch your creativity given the constraints you have of being in one location with the gear that you already have. It may be a lot, it may be a little. We won't be judging you on whether you're shooting on an iPhone 5 or a cinema camera. All the details and the rules and what I'm about to explain will be available in the link in the description below to the film festival page on Film Freeway. That being said, what you need to do is create a short film that tells a story, tells a strong story without leaving your home or your single location, hence the Create at Home Film Festival. There won't be any subcategories for this film, but we'll be judging heavily on the story and how good the story is, and we'll get to that in just a second. Your film can be fictional, non-fictional, it can be stop motion, it can be an animation, it can be action, comedy, rom-com, or a documentary, that's all up to you. Just try to keep it positive, okay? The only requirement is that it's made 100% at home with the tools that you already have, and the people who appear in the film or help you make the film on location must already be at that location with you, your home. They shouldn't be outside help and they shouldn't be coming in because, you know, social distancing. The film should be between three and five minutes with five minutes being the absolute maximum. If it needs to be shorter and you think it serves the story better, it can be shorter, just five minutes max. While you might be the only one in your home, don't be discouraged. That doesn't mean that you can't collaborate. The only caveat here is that we want you to collaborate remotely and the films that we see should take place in one location. Even if you could collaborate with other filmmakers and technically get a second location, we wanna see one location. We still encourage you though, maybe you're not a filmmaker, maybe you're a musician without a camera who just wants to score a film, or you have a great story that you wanna write but you don't have the means or desire to shoot it. We want you to feel encouraged to put something together as a team, not just as an individual. Individual. We'll use hashtag create at home film fest and our creators offline discord server to help facilitate finding collaborators And we'll put a link to that in the description below as for judging We'll be bringing in a number of filmmaker friends of creators offline and the judging of your film breaks down as follows 75% is story even with multiple locations and endless amounts of gear, story is the most important thing about your film. How can you set up a story, a problem, or a question and resolve it within three to five minutes that you have and make the audience feel something? That's what we're looking for. Part of the story judging will also be how original the story is and things like how interesting the dialogue is written if it's a fictional film. Really stretch yourself here given the constraints. Don't feel limited to the type of story you're telling. Even if you're using cardboard props like my favorite cardboard warfare film from back in the day or your low light footage is a lot grainier than you'd like, that kind of stuff doesn't matter. We're looking for a story, that's what matters. Even though story is the most important thing in your film, we want you to put effort into the production and post-production of your film. And so 15% of the judging will be based on technical execution. It doesn't matter what you use to make the film, like we said, and we're not gonna discriminate against the different cameras that you could use to make a film, but the way you edit the film and the way you spend time in production and post-production on things like sound design and the scoring of the film, that's what we're looking for. Do your best to control your environment when you're filming though to help produce the best film that you possibly can given the equipment that you have. And lastly, we'll award 10% of your judging to your artistry and cinematography. Yes, you can still get slider shots with a towel and a tripod or a piece of cardboard, and we'll notice when you put extra effort into your shots that help tell the story. You're not gonna win any extra points for whip panning every transition, but if it adds to the narrative and it makes sense, that's the kind of stuff we're looking for. You might be limited at home, but there are plenty of ways that you can push your creativity to enhance the look and feel of your film, and that's what we'll be judging 10% on. And now for prizes. As of now, we'll be awarding prizes to first, second, and third place as follows. First place will receive a one-year subscription to Red Giant Complete. They'll also receive a one-year pro membership to MZ, my favorite online learning platform for filmmaking and storytelling right now, a one-year subscription to Storyblocks Unlimited All Access Plan, and a Brevity Jumper Backpack. 
Similarly, Second Place will also receive a one-year MZ subscription, a six-month subscription to Storyblocks Unlimited, and a Brevity Jumper backpack. And Third Place will receive a one-year subscription to MZ Pro membership, a three-month subscription to Storyblocks Unlimited, and a Brevity Jumper backpack. Keep an eye on our social media pages, a Twitter, Instagram, and follow the official page on Film Freeway for an updated prize list as the contest goes on. Now, of course, the question you're probably asking yourself if you haven't already looked it up is how long do you have to make this film? You have until April 24th to submit your film. After that, we'll judge all the submissions and set a date to stream all the top films and announce the winners. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us on Twitter or Instagram DMs or just send us an email. We're really excited to host this film festival for you. I hope you have fun making something in your home and stretching your creativity. Good luck, have fun, check the link below for the details, and we'll chat later.